everyone, it's a Thursday and the current time is 9.53 and it's the 30th of August. We don't need those. So, payday was today and all I have bought today are these. A bunch of Corgi die-cast cars. Um, Two pounds each. And they just uh, come in a little box like that. I don't think Corgi make um, the miniatures anymore. But uh, I thought we'd go through and have a look. So, here I have got a nice Citroen 2CV. Oops. I do believe these are all in mint condition as well. Uh, some of these cars I do already have. Um, I think I've got one of these two CVs, but I don't have them in a box. So, I've got them boxed. That's like this one. That one's, um, it's got Golden Wonder on the roof. I don't know if Golden Wonder still exists, but uh, it's a nice classic Ford Sierra. Uh, but like I said, I've got that one in mint condition, but now I've got one mint and boxed. But I tell you, these were £2 each in a charity shop, in the community shop actually, that's where I got these from. There's a few more left, and I might just bite the bullet and go and get the rest. So we now have a Ford Transit tow truck. Well, they call it a Transit Wrecker on the box, but it is just a Mark II Ford Transit truck, um, tow truck. Again, I'm not sure if I've actually got this one. I need to go through that box and have a look. Uh, I don't know how many I've bought here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Because I actually bought one yesterday. Mum bought me one. Uh, as I ran an errand for us. And what have we got here? The Zack Speed Ford Capri. So there we go. The Zack Speed Ford Capri. What's it actually got written on it? It's got home fire for open fires. I don't know if home fires still exist. Cool, you like to do that. They like to put um, brand names on their cars as well. I don't know how much these would have cost back in the day. Oh, we've got Porsche 911 Turbo. Now, I know I've got one of these, but I can't remember if it's actually got the Porsche on or if it's just a plain black one, but there we go. Very nice condition as well. I wasn't actually going to buy these because Corgis are not my favourites, but... Oh, some dirt in there that needs cleaning out. What's this one? Ferrari 308 GTS. I've got other things to show you as well. Um, got some computer stuff in there. The um, guy that often gets, well, I say often, the guy that sometimes gets me computers when he gets them uh, came up with some. Most of it is actually a pile of poop, but I did get something out of it. So there we go. Now, I know I have got another one of these, but nowhere near as good condition as this one. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm trying to put these in the box, so when you close it up, the car itself is the same way up as the writing. You know what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to zoom you in a bit like that. And I haven't got to hold them so close to the camera. Right. Some of these, what's this one? Jaguar track car. Some of these are quite awkward to open up. I do believe I've got this one. Don't know what it means by track car though. It's an XJS. 
So they keep the names on the box actually quite simple um, and short. It actually says Jaguar XJS on the bottom there. Made in Great Britain. You won't see that much now. Most die-cast cars are uh, made in China these days. Alright, so what we've got here, the Renault 5. Now the other thing is they did several variations of these cars as well. But I don't believe I've got this one. What's it got on there? BP team. I've got quite a few cars with BP on. Don't think I actually bought it. No, I didn't. But I think I will go back tomorrow and get the rest. There is a Vauxhall Nova, if anybody remembers those. Um, that's got all the BP on that orange or yellow wrecker truck. That's got BP on it. And so is this one. Actually, they changed the name on this one. Look, Ford Wrecker Truck. The other one just has Transit Wrecker on it. But, as you will see, it's pretty much identical apart from colour and the markings. See? The other one was BP Rescue, Rescue rather, don't know what happened to my voice there. And this one's BP Service. But it is a Ford Transit again. I don't know if that actually says it on the bottom, does it? Yeah, Ford Transit Wrecker. Surprised it doesn't say Mark II, because that's what these ones are. Absolute mint. The numbers I'll find in boxes on car boots that do not have the hook because it's all fallen off. So, pretty pleased with that. I don't know if I've still got it, but Hot Wheels did a version of this. So, nine of those. <laughs> Um, so on to something completely unrelated. I've got my Windows 98 installed discs here because zoom you out and to pick you guys up. We'll move to the kitchen. Got a bunch of computer bits in here because I can finally get a Windows 98 PC built up that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So, this is not the PC that I have, or had, underneath the um, Lego tables in the lounge. That one is actually on the floor behind you. See, see look, there's, there's, there's the dirty old front cover. Uh, there was only four PCs that came in this job lot and a shed load of motherboards, um, desktop and whatnot, but I think most of them are actually dead, <laughs> unfortunately. But then again, if I show you this one, I'm going to see if I can revive it, but you see all the rust. Now the weird thing is, not only have they obvi ob ah, try that again. obviously been stored outside, I think they were used as Christmas decorations because almost Every motherboard had a Christmas bauble hanging, hanging from it, properly hanging from it. Ooh, big ass moth just coming through the window. Um, but yeah, I do want to see if I can actually get any going. There's a big box over here. Show you. See? All sorts. Um, there's actually two boxes of these because there's a bunch of laptop motherboards as well. I couldn't tell what laptops they came out of and I had no way of actually testing those so as some had RAM sticks in I took those off to test in the vain hope that they work along with the processors. Uh, yeah anyway, see that there's another one, it's all rusty. Um, oddly enough I think this one's DDR3 uh, like this one, I've got a very thin, wobbly thing going on there with the heatsink. Um, but when I plug everything in, I don't get nothing. I don't even get, you know, beep or anything. I don't even get a fan spin up, so... They do seem to 
be totally dead. Although I didn't do any cleaning, I just plugged them in as they were. Maybe if I take a toothbrush and whatnot to these and give them a good clean, they might spring back into life. I don't think they'd be that reliable. And with this sort of motherboard, it's not worth it, really. Acer. It came out of an Acer PC, and it looks like it came out of one of those um, really small, slimline PCs that you can get. A bit like uh, that Dell just behind me, if not smaller. Um, that Dell I got recently as well, but that didn't come with this job lot. I traded that with a friend. Um, the guy wants these back, so I've got a message him. So you then you get one like this that looks like there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, apart from the rust. Which I can't imagine would affect it, but... Who knows? Um, but again, this one was coming up totally dead. Or was it? <laughs> Actually, this one may have worked, but... I couldn't get no signal out, which, as it wasn't beeping, it could have been a dead processor, it could be a dead processor socket. No, it wasn't this one. This one's different. This one is different. I can't actually remember if I actually tested this one or not. I've got half a dozen of these or something. I've got three. Yeah, half a dozen. Just over, because I've got number seven over there. Yeah, this is the one that I don't have the processor for. I've never heard of it. It was an Opteron. AMD Opteron. So, yeah, this is the one that, I, if memory serves correctly, it did power up. But didn't do anything, you know. I mean, the fans just spun and that was it. So this one... I might be able to get it to do something, who knows. It's not that special though. But again, I didn't do any cleaning to... Let's see, this kitchen is oh, so full of clutter. There's two more that are in just... Well, one of these is in really bad shape. I don't think I actually tested the other one. But again, with this one, see, there's just... Filth, dirt, rust. <laughs> I think I was being a bit optimistic on getting any of these to actually work, to be honest, don't you? Well, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> if I can, I can. If I can't, I still got at least, at the moment, two good PCs. Possibly a third. I'll get on with this e machines in a minute. I'm just doing the boring shit first. There's another one, but look at the state of this one. This is the one I don't think I tested. Yeah, <laughs> you see all that. <laughs> hmm, will it work? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not holding the breath. But again, this one just looks like it's dirty. It doesn't... I mean, they're really not usable because of the state they're in, but... We'll see. Actually, I'm not going to stack them up precariously like that. I'm going to precariously put them back in here. Chuck them in because I don't. I'm not going to hold breath with these. Not if they've been outside. Maybe these were just random dead boards the guy had and just used them as Christmas decks. <laughs> that really wouldn't surprise me. Some more I want to put in there. Yes. Right. As far as the computers go, I've got this E-Machines 160. The motherboard was dead. Um, so as I had a, another E-Machines, which was... What model? A 330, which is basically the same frickin' machine apart from different motherboard. The case is exactly the same. No difference in the case whatsoever. Um... The other case I had didn't have a power supply, and as you saw from the front panel, it was rather dirty. Um, so what I did, I swapped the motherboard into this one, as the motherboard didn't power up. 
But I know the motherboard was at fault because I tried another power supply. I tried another two or three power supplies actually that I knew worked. Still nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll just put that in here with the power supply. Because the other one, the power supply had died, which is why um, I never put anything like Windows 98 or anything on it. Even though these machines, believe it or not, are built, I, I use that term or that word loosely, built for Windows XP. The RAM they use, <laughs> well for starters, look at the processor and the heatsink. Can you see that in there? Tiny pissing thing, look. That is the same sort of thing you'd find on a Windows 98. Tiny little thing. And if I show you the RAM, you see it's got the two notches, not the one. SD RAM that they use on um, Windows 98 as well. So e machines are basically built computers that were literally built from parts from a scrap bin, I think. <laughs> the other one of these. Believe it or not, was advertised as a gaming machine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I still that still make me chuckle every time I think about it. But anyway, I do have the hard drive caddy for this as well. The other one didn't, so I was missing that. But I've got it here. I've got it. So I can actually, you know, I can't do anything special with it. You know, like use it for gaming because there's no video card upgrade slot in here. There's no AGP slot. Um, there's only one USB. Really weird thing is, I would have thought as this, as the other one was the 330, had the larger number, that it would have been a newer computer. Apparently not. You got one. Um, USB socket. Here's the motherboard that came out of the other one. And then you've got two and built-in Ethernet. This one doesn't even have built-in Ethernet. Nope. It's literally got one USB, keyboard, mouse, VGA, audio, and a parallel port. You know, this one's actually got two USBs and the Ethernet built-in. So... But like I said, I would have thought the other one would have been a newer machine. Maybe the other one was just cheaper. <laughs> Hence the, um, you know, the two less sockets or two less connections on it, whatever you want to bloody call it. I don't know, I don't think my brain is operating tonight. And I can't find the engineer to fix it. <laughs> but yeah, this thing boots up. Well, power's on at least, or it does now. <laughs> uh, so the other case, I'm going to ditch that because I don't need it. Um, but to me, the front of that has just got that Windows 98 feel to it, to me. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do that later. Uh, not going to actually screw the hard drive in yet, just in case anything goes you know, tits up as the old saying goes. Oops. Be surprised if that hard drive works now. Anyway! Oh, that's where it went. Might try up 256 megabytes of RAM just because I can. Um, need two of these. Yeah. So, actually, make as much noise as possible as well along with the motorbike that just flew past yeah this was the other one this one is a Dell Dimension 9150 um, and it does work it didn't at first um, couldn't get no video output so um I changed the video card because there is no built-in video on this. See? You've got to have the video card. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll come back to that in a minute, the e-machines. Um, and then I noticed it wouldn't boot. 
because I only put one to uh, yeah 256 megabyte DDR2 stick of RAM in there and found out that you have to have both slots occupied with um, a stick of RAM. This has got dual channels so there's two there with white clips on and two with black. You've got to have two in one set of those. So the white ones are one channel, the ones with the black clips are the second channel. Um, but I did that, put another video card in, this one fires up fine. It's only got 512 megs of RAM on it at the minute, but it works. I'm going to put two hard drives in this. I was actually thinking of building like um, a little server PC or something out of this. I think that would be ideal as a home PC, uh, home PC, a home server. Although it's got two disk drives. Don't really need that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I opened this up and I found this CD in it. I think they were being rather optimistic, don't you? There ain't no way that would have installed on this machine. Not a chance. I think hell would freeze over first before that installed. So I've got a Windows 7 disk as well now. Um, there's a few other peripheral things that came with it, upgrade cards. This worked on this machine. This came with the motherboards as well. It was in the boxes. But the computer made a hell of a lot of beeping. It didn't like it. But it did work. Um, so I'm going to do some further testing on other motherboards with that. There's a couple more. This is the one that appears to be dead. This was the one that was on this machine. Again, same with this one. It didn't do nothing on this machine. And there's one more. Just this little thing, which again, didn't seem to do nothing on this machine, but... Like I said, I'm going to check these on another motherboard. Just to double check. Right, one of the other PCs is actually not in here. One of them I've already taken apart for parts because uh, I tried to test it and I was pressing the power button, nothing was happening. And then I looked inside the case and realised someone had actually uh, snipped all the wires to the front panel. Might be why it didn't work. So um, I used a separate button to turn it on because that's why I keep these. <laughs> Take the buttons out of old cases for that reason and uh, turned on. So I've got a spare motherboard. There's only a Windows XP era motherboard, so I can't do a great deal with it. Right. But it'll do for a spare if I'm playing around with a computer because I've got plenty of cases. Right, turn the light off. There's an Asus case, or an Asus case. One of their sort of bare bones type cases. It turns on, but there's no video output. So I don't know if the onboard video is gone. I don't know if the process is gone. I don't know if the motherboard has just shit the bed itself. But uh, I'm not too fussed, because I do like these cases and I've wanted another one to build something into so and the other motherboard is here which has actually got a bloated capacitor on it right there and I could easily replace that one it's not a problem but despite that capacitor it still works it may not run stable because of that capacitor but it does work so all in all not a bad little haul I think tonight I might there's something on your face, hang on. It's up the top there now. I'm moving it around. There we go. Your face is all nice and clean now. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a play around tonight. Uh, make a bit of room in here. I haven't got any better RAM to put on this one. Um. If I can get them to work, I've got four 512 meg sticks, so I might be able to get two gigs on there. I do actually know who's riding that motorbike. <laughs> Found out the other day. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got a sound card as well. 
Sandblast occurred. I can't imagine anything would be dead on this. But we'll see. We'll see what fun way to test it. That one, um, I swapped with a friend of mine who I swapped that Toshiba laptop with. Because <laughs> he, he's been building a desktop. He's done pretty well on his own, actually. I'm very impressed with him. Um, he bought that with the intent to put the motherboard in the case I gave him. Um, or I swapped with him for his tablet PC. Uh, but of course, being that sort of Dell, it's not possible. So he swapped it with me for a motherboard and a bunch of bits to get it working, at least. So I ended up with that. It's on Windows 10, as it is. Password protected. But I think I can remember the password. If not, it doesn't matter, because I'll just reinstall Windows 10. So, 2 gigabytes. DDR2 RAM, so it's not a bad little machine. It's a Dell Optiplex 380, if you were wondering, with a Windows 7 sticker on it. Um, similar to the one I gave my brother, uh, but not quite the same. I think this one might be a slightly older model, slightly different model. Yeah. Anyway, I don't actually know where to start with these computers. Do I start with the 98 install? Get it up and running? And then perhaps worry about drivers tomorrow and whatnot? Yeah, I might do it that way. Oh dear. I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about. I might just use my motherboard over here. My Intel one to uh, test those video cards on. Actually, no, I don't think I want to use that motherboard. <laughs> Change my mind. I've got to find a different one. I'm sure I've got another PC around here. Or I could have a poke around with that Asus one and uh, see if I can get that one to go. But uh, yeah, the fact this one didn't fire up didn't bother me too much because, like, I just. Ah, ah, ah. My tongue got a total twist. Shall I start again? Yeah, let's start from scratch, shall we? <laughs> yeah, this one didn't worry me too much that it didn't turn on because I just thought I can build a good one out of the two I've got. Which is, so far, still going to go as planned. <laughs> so, when my tongue works, perhaps I should shut the camera off while the going's good. <laughs> And just get on with the task at hand. I've got keyboards and mice here, so... Alright then, thanks a lot for watching guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.